Hello guys! So, as if you, some of you may have seen, over Christmas time I received a very, very special present. So, this is my first ever acoustic bass. It's an Ibanez, it's from their Artwood series, and it has the longest name known to man, which I've had to write down. So it is the PCB E 12 mh dash OPN <laughs> and I wanted to say that because I want to make sure you guys can find these because oh my god they are absolutely stunning and I don't just mean in looks but the way they play is just incredible like I've played other acoustic basses in the past I've never owned one but none of them have felt as comfortable instantly as this and kind of had that connection and the funny thing is, when they were looking for an acoustic bass for me, trying to find like the perfect looking one, obviously I'm not the biggest person anywhere and a lot of them are absolutely huge, but they didn't go out of their way to find an Ibanez, but this was the one that kept cropping up, and of course it was an Ibanez, you've probably noticed I'm a bit of a fanatic for them. <laughs> uh, I started out on them from day one and I've literally never found a set of bases that have been more me and more comfortable apart from the anaconda custom i've got but again it was custom built so of course it is <laughs> but they didn't go out of their way to find an ibanez and it just so happened that this was the perfect one that kept coming up because it's really slim it's it's absolutely gorgeous i mean i do believe that instruments can kind of reflect the owner as well and they can kind of have a similar vibe and I quite often find that like when you find an instrument you really connect with it almost feels like they're a familiar friend like in the uh, SR700 video I did it's called meet my best friend and that's for a reason and I quite often find that especially with Ibanez stuff but with everything I've owned over the years it's like you just kind of have that special connection and it almost feels like they're a part of you and this really really has that same vibe which is kind of rare to me like it's not that often that I'll pick up an instrument and it will really resonate with me but all the ones I own have that so to find one that obviously I've never played before it was a gift and have it still feel like that is just amazing <laughs> But I'm absolutely in love with it, it's really stunning. So it's mahogany everything. So mahogany body, mahogany neck, uh, rosewood fretboard. It's also got uh, bass and treble, uh, what's the word like? I can't think what you call them, but it's got bass and treble knobs basically. So you can change the tone, tone controls, there we go. Uh, and a volume knob of course, a tuner on it as well. Uh, the tone knobs are actually really responsive. I kind of, I wasn't sure what they would be like, but I'm really impressed with how good they sound. So I've literally not done anything with this. It's just as it came, uh, even the strings, they're really cool. I don't know what they are. Cause when I looked these up, they're actually just like silver strings, but these are actually black, but that's just how it came, but they're really cool. And I actually, I think if I ever do end up changing the strings on this I'll probably try and get some of the same because I think they really kind of enhance the look of it but again I'm just so in love with this and another thing is it looks very very reminiscent of John Frusciante's uh, Martin Acoustic which obviously being a John Frusciante nut for the majority of my life is kind of a dream come true because there's not a lot of bass related things that are particularly reminiscent of him. Not that I've found anyway, maybe there are some more out there. But I don't know if you know what I mean, like maybe I can get a picture up for you and show you. But yeah, it really is stunning. It's a 32 inch scale length as well. Um, I just love it. The body is a concert body size, so it's not extremely bulky, which is amazing for me. Uh, it's so resonant as well. I'm not sure how well the camera is going to pick this up, but I can try and show you. It's so loud, but I love it. Um, it's the flame as well. 
I kind of didn't notice it at first because the lighting I was in, uh, when I unwrapped it, it looked really... You couldn't see all of this figuring in it. And uh, as soon as I moved, it caught the light. So like immediately I was like, wow, that's really pretty. But then it caught the light and I was like, oh, it's literally on another level. Of I think this is like one of the most beautiful instruments I own. But I'm just so happy with it. Even um, standing up with it is not mega uncomfortable. I'm not the biggest fan of standing up playing acoustics anyway, but to have one that I feel like I've got the option at least to do it and it's still comfortable is really nice. So I'm literally so grateful for this. I just, I can't express how much I'm in love with it. So obviously I'm gonna play at the end, show you what it sounds like because that is the most important thing. But yeah, look at it. <laughs> it's just so pretty. But um, I'm just so happy with it. So I'm extremely grateful to own this. This is my first ever acoustic bass. So also my first ever acoustic bass demo. So there we go. First video I'll ever be doing on an acoustic bass. But hopefully I can do some kind of justice to it. So I hope you enjoy and uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.
Thank mm-hmm. you.